extend the individual mandate and related provisions, I would expect President Obama to talk about all that is still standing in the law, talking about the good things those items do. They are both prime, both sides are prime, to take the airwaves tomorrow. Thanks so much, Jake. And Jake will be with us tomorrow when George Stephanopoulos and I stand by right at this desk with the powerhouse political team waiting for word of the Supreme Court decision. And we hope you will join us right here tomorrow morning for the big news. And now, we want to show you a stunning video report out of Syria. Today, the United Nations sounded an alarm. The situation is dangerously and quickly deteriorating there once again. And BBC reporter Ian Panel made his way into the heart of the chaos, the northern <coughs> province of Idlib, where one family is living the horror. Here it is with ABC's Michael Rath. Darkness. The children were sleeping when the deadly shells began exploding all over town. Sunrise did not bring an end to it. Russian-made helicopters and more artillery pounded whatever was below. And this is where the BBC found that one of those shells landed. A once beautiful home, a family with six little boys. One lies dead, his father Mohammed shattered by the law. His other boy wounded and frightened. Eight-year-old Rian weeping as he recalled the attack. <laughs> the Syrian army did this to me. I will not that. It is fear of the Syrian troops that is keeping the boy's parents from taking them to the hospital. Outside the home and throughout the town, 